All right, on to the VS Code Hint Tip and Trick of the Week, uh, which is only a VS Code Hint Tip and Trick of the Week as far as you can use a terminal inside VS Code because this will work mm. at anything. We're talking about uh, MakeCert this week, which is how I believe you pronounce it, but it's uh, spelled M-K-C-E-R-T. So this is a simple tool available on Mac. I should say a self-proclaimed simple tool. Uh, from mm. Mac, Windows, and Linux for making locally trusted development certificates without any configuration. You can start by installing a local certificate authority into your own system trust store and then generating certificates and key files that you can then use uh, when starting your server. So I had an example here on my local screen, um, including their docs and the box server docs right here. And I decided to try this myself for CFCast. So if you come over here, I have CFCast running. You can see the little secure connection here. And it was issued by my Make Cert Root Certificate Authority with these certificates. Now, it's important to know that because you've installed Make Cert as a Root Certificate Authority, that any of these certificates you make do give access to looking like they're legitimate so you do not want to lose or these certificates you do not want to push them up <laughs> to source control anything like that mm. so the usual you know warnings apply with great power comes great responsibility so but that is uh mk cert or make cert works great with command box um i didn't have to do anything special just had to point it at those two files that it made uh again make sure you just ignore those in source control and you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Cool. That was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. Brought to you by Modernizer Die Podcast, CF Mount News Edition. Proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizerdie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel. 